shooting team. This will be my third Olympics. Uh, since we're telling stories, uh, I can, so when we say sitting practice, basically we just sit here like this, and it's a pretty simple task you think uh, to just sit and focus on your breathing. Uh, not so much with the exclusion of anything else, but you're just trying to just be aware without really affecting your breathing, which is something you do every day, hopefully, uh, and you do it well. But it's really, really difficult to just stay on that. You, you'll find your, especially like me, my brain's tries to go everywhere all at once, you'll find yourself start getting in these, you know, conversations with yourself and, and there's this commentary that's going on about other things in your life and you're thinking about other things and I've actually joked, joked before that in the mindfulness practice you can build a house in your head because there's so much other stuff that you, the ideas become aware of it. So I remember back at Olympic trials, uh, this happened twice actually at Olympic trials, I did it, it was very successful both times. Uh, I. Uh, I warmed up properly, I thought I was prepared, it was the last day, I was in the lead, but there's a lot of things that go on and in your head, you know, positive and negative things. There's no, anything other than actual performance is a negative thing. You can't think that, well, I'm gonna win. That's just as terrible of a distraction as I'm gonna lose. The only thing you should think about doing is doing this one thing the best way you can. Um, so I sat down about 10 minutes before I started to shoot and I had this, this time, so I sat down, put my, my earplugs in, and I did a, a quick sitting mindfulness training practice where I just sat down and tried to think about just my breathing, just focus on my breathing and just be aware of that. Um, and I thought at first, I thought like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't have any distractions. I'm, I'm prepared for, for, for this match. And all of a sudden, like floodgates opened up and I started becoming aware of all these thoughts that I had that were going on inside of my head anyway. I just wasn't aware of them. And if you're not aware of them, you can't compartmentalize, you can't put them aside and focus on the task at hand with all of the brain power that you need to be at the best you can. And I remember being almost overwhelmed with being aware of all these thoughts, but I was able to take them and shift them over in my head to, um, to where uh, I was aware of them so I could focus back on my task at hand. And then I went out and uh, I, I broke the national record. The, the first time I did it by where I had seven points, I elevated it really high to the, the world record level. And then in the 2012 quad, I, I elevated it again, which was only by a point because it was pretty high at that point. So it's hard to go higher. Uh, so we yeah, had both those times was, was really successful. But the, the takeaway from it was that I had all these distractions going on in my head that, was, that would have taken away from my performance uh, had I not had the time and the experience in the training sessions that we do to, to stop and become aware of my distractions. It's not that that was bad for having them, but you're going to have them. But being aware of them is a big deal. So that's what we try to practice here: is being aware of what's going on in your head. I concur. <laughs> right. Yeah.